Right, welcome along, and tonight on Keefer's Kitchen Garden, uh, we're cooking my head cabbage rolls. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> ah, I love cabbage roll. <laughs> I love cabbage roll. Right, tonight's ingredients are one cabbage, glasses and hat removed, two cloves of garlic, parsley, fresh sage, marjoram, fresh marjoram and fresh rosemary all from the garden, half a cup of long grain basmati rice, a tin of tomatoes, two eggs, they're duck eggs from Sedba, fresh as every Wednesday market day, paprika, there's five juicy Emmettyville shallots, salt and pepper, and this one, you want a pound and a half of meat. I've got half, I've got, well, I've got a pound of minced beef. <laughs> right, I've got a pound of minced beef, half a pound of minced pork. <sighs> Welcome along. All right, first you want to take your cabbage, remove the hat, remove the glasses, right. This is a, an allotment dairy special. Beautiful cabbage. So we're going to put it to good use tonight in cabbage roll. So you want to remove the outer couple of leaves. It's a little bit of soil on this, that shows how fresh it is. Right, I just want to chop the heart out of the bottom obviously. Let's get in the bottom like that. Want this hard bit out of here. Making a right budge of this. Let's remove the heart bit from the middle. Then you just want to boil this. And you're going to make some nice little leaves for rolling as it boils off the outer leaves of the cabbage. It's too big a cabbage. I just cleaned and cored cabbage out. It was a bit messy, but. There it is, it's ready to go in a pan of boiling water, just slightly salted boiling water, a big pan. And all we're going to do, as it heats up and it should leave at these points, the leaves should peel away, and we're going to use them to roll the meat in. So that should be the idea, we'll see if we we'll give it a go. Right, so we're just going to boil it away in here, and give it about eight minutes, and then the leaves should start leaving the centrepiece, and we're just going to pick them off whole, and use them for rolling the meat in later on. Right, so we're just gonna, this is gonna start peeling off now as it heats up. We're just gonna save these for rolling up the rolls in. Right, so we've got the cabbage, we've got about 12, 14 leaves. We're just gonna fill them full of meat and roll them up. Right, it's just finely chopped garlic, finely chopped herbs. I'm gonna dish up the shallots. Right, so we've got the mince. We're just, we've finely chopped the shallots, so they're gonna go in. Paprika, about a tablespoon there, fresh herbs, and the garlic. Right, plenty of pepper in there. Salt. Two duck eggs. Mix that together. Right, so we're just going to mix that all together, and that's going to be the filling for the rolled cabbage leaves. Right, of course, half a cup of long grain rice. Right, we're going to steam this, so the rice is going to cook within the pudding, so we don't want to wrap the leaves too tightly because it's going to expand on cooking. So just allow a bit for that. Right, so the, the best mixer of all is hands. So give them a good wash. Just get in there. If you can beat that for mixing well. Right, so we're just going to take one of the cabbage leaves, take the filling you've just made, simply spoon into the middle, I'm just going to wrap that up, peel a nice little one up there. Right, just simply take it and arrange in the bottom and then repeat the process. Take another off one. 
put in the mixture. I'm just going to carry on, we're just going to fill that bottom of that, well, Dutch oven or baking dish, whatever you want to call it. Just ready a few of the remaining bits of cabbage, just pack the voids nicely with them. Just fill up any gaps. Then we're simply going to pour the tomatoes over the top of them, or half the tomatoes, anyway. All of the tomatoes over them. <laughs> right, so between layers, just want a few onions or shallots. I've decided to put onions in between and shallots in with the meat for flavouring. I'm just going to layer a couple of cabbage leaves and set off again, I think. And if I slice that bit off. Right, I've done the second layer, I'm just going to fill in the gaps again with a few bits of cabbage. As you can see, they've got progressively bigger as the leaves have got bigger, so I don't know what's going to happen here. And we're just going to, the next tin of tomatoes over the top, a bit of salt and pepper on top of there, and we're going to cover over with some of the other cabbage leaves. And what I didn't have on the ingredients is stock, so we need, because the rice is uncooked, we need to make sure it cooks through with plenty of water in there, so we're going to fill up with stock. Right, so we're going to pour, simply pour over half a litre of beef stock. Some people use water, and we're just going to simply cover over with the remaining cabbage leaves. That's just going to steam away, cook the rice gently away. We're going to, we're going to put this in gas mark for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For about an hour and then have a look at water it. levels and just top it up a little bit make sure the rice is cooking give it another hour 